It's inevitable that as we age, you know, our body changes, particularly the cartilage in our joints gets thinner, the ligaments loosen up and allow too much movement in the joint, and you get accelerated wear and tear. And for some people, that could lead to like hip replacement surgery or knee replacement surgery. I'll show you a couple of exercises that you can do to help protect or guard your joints against this degenerative process. The first one, they're called shoulder propellers or arm propellers. It looks like this, circumduction of the shoulder joint. About 20 times this direction, then switch directions and do this. I don't want you to do this. The angle of your arm is about like this because you could actually hurt your shoulder if you make the circles too big. Okay, so the second one is for your sternoclavicular joint. This is where your clavicle or your collarbone inserts into your breastbone or the sternum. It looks like this. Almost like a crawl stroke and a swimming stroke. The next one is uh, do this. This gets your sternoclavicular joint as well. The next one is for your elbows, so make circles with your elbows like this. Reverse directions, okay, about 20 times. The other exercise for this, put your hands together and turn them. And what this does is it works that radial ulnar joint, okay, that articulation between the radius and the ulna. Now for your wrists, I'd like you to do this. Arms in front, bring your hands down until you feel a nice stretch on the back of your wrists, and come up. Another exercise for your wrists that you can do looks like this. So it looks like this. Okay. Now for the fingers, these are called the phalangeal joints. Now arthritis, osteoarthritis strikes you seen an elderly person with big knotty knuckles. Okay, that's osteoarthritis of these interphalangeal joints. So keep those moving by doing this. I want you to bend them segment by segment until you make a fist. Uncurl them segment by segment. Just like that. And then when you're done, open your hands really wide. Hold it there. Relax, wide, and relax. Now the next one is for your lumbar joints, the facet joints, and the inner vertebral disc of your low back. So keep your feet apart, hands on your hips. It goes like this. And then when you get to the bottom, reverse directions. Do about 10 to 15 times clockwise and counterclockwise. I don't want you to curl your back like this, because that's flexion of the low back. You want to avoid that. Bending forward comes from a hip, a hinge. Okay, so my low back is relatively straight and the bending forward motion is occurring in the hip joints. The next one is for your hip joints. It looks like this. The motion is similar to doing a hula hoop. Your entire hip structure, your hip complex, you're gonna move it in a circle and clockwise and counterclockwise. My arm represents your femur bone and the femoral head. Then it inserts into the acetabulum of the pelvis. As you make circles with your pelvis, it moves the pelvis all over the femoral head, bathing it in synovial fluid, ensuring that it doesn't dry out. The next exercise is for your knees. Put your feet together, grab your knees, and just make circles like this and reverse directions. And the last one's for your foot. For your ankle, I want you to do this. All right? So you're making circles with your ankle and again, reverse directions. Okay, so that's it to recap. Uh, if you're over age 40, it's highly recommended that you do these joint exercises and stretches. Try to do them every day to ensure that uh, the degenerative process in your joints like, is suppressed it's less likely to happen, you slow it down, and even prevent it.